What's up, Fury Faithful? It's Christian Philly Philemon once again, and I am joined by a Fury fan favorite and a player always keeping us guessing as to what Superman jersey he's wearing underneath his kit. Today, we got Nestor Hernandez on the Zooms. Nestor, what's the good word, my man? Nothing much, man. Just working hard, getting ready for next weekend. So we're grinding day in, day out. So no breaks for us. Hey, hey that's a, ain't no rest for the wicked, baby. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> so we're almost a week removed from that tough semifinal round against the Kansas City Comets. Has it sunk in yet that you're about to play in a championship game? And how excited are you about next week? Yeah, for me, it's, it's sunk in right after it. I mean, it's a big accomplishment for me in my career. Uh, it's the first time I make it to a final. Um, it was my second semifinal in the league, so that was pretty exciting to pass that hump. But I'm excited. I'm, you know, ready for it. I'm taking care of myself, doing everything I can to give myself an edge for that game to help my team come out successful and hopefully with that championship, bring it back to Ontario. Yeah, of course. I mean, I've seen your posts. I know you're in the gym all the time, so I know you're a hard worker. Speaking of next <laughs> week, it. what are your thoughts on the fact that the final was moved a week from its original schedule? I think it's good. I mean, especially for us, I feel like our season was divided literally in two halves. We played 10 games. We played literally five games, I think, in eight, nine days. Took yep. like a week and a half off and then played another five and eight and then had like three days to rest and then straight to the court and semi. So I think it's good. We get a little rest um, to kind of heal up. I know a lot of the guys are banged up. I mean, this game takes a toll on you and you can only do so much. So it's a it's the longest, shortest season uh, that I've ever played. You know, it's just... It feels so much longer than what it was, but it's just day in, day out. This game is so physical. It takes so much out of you, and the recovery is so important. So I think right now we're taking advantage of recovering, still practicing hard, but using a little, a little more time to recover and get the bodies right so we can put on the best possible performance the team can have to show the fans and hopefully bring that championship here. Yeah, of course, of course. It's been a heck of a season, obviously, for you and the Fury. What's it been like to be a part of this season's team and, ha and to have gone on the run that you boys have gone on? It's been amazing. I think things have turned, been, uh, turned around for me. Um, thank God for that. Uh, like I said, I've, I've had my fair share of injuries, had my ups and downs after that, mostly downs. And then I had, like I said, my only up was probably playing Vegas, getting the semifinal. But I think if I, things are finally turned around. I think I've put in the effort, the work, and it's paid off. And I think it shows I'm a team player. And I do whatever it takes for the team to win. If that means me grinding, pressuring, running, trying to score some goals, creating space for everybody, anybody else to score, I'll do it. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy at this point in my life. And I'm, I'm grateful. And I'm hoping, like, you know, the job's not done. There's one more step to finally completing, like, which would be my biggest achievement in my life uh, as far as my soccer career goes. Of course. And yeah, you've been a big contributor to this team. In the 10 games that you played during the regular season, you had six goals, three assists for nine points. During the playoffs, you've had one goal, three assists for four points. We're definitely looking forward to some more Superman sightings in the final. Now, are you keeping to the traditional colors that you have? Or are you going to surprise us uh, with something potentially different in the next week? No, I'm going to keep it traditionally. I think it's worked out for me so far this, this season, keeping my three different ones that I have. So I'm going to keep it tradi uh, traditionally, um, go from there. And depending on how I feel that day, that's going to be the mood that I'm going to rock as far as the color goes. <laughs> I'm asking you this because I keep losing my bets with Jonathan. <laughs> We've joked about this a bunch of times. To date, I have not chosen accurately once. He seems to keep on guessing right. This is you know sort of my way of trying to gain the upper hand. So the finals are set and you're going to be playing at home against the San Diego Sockers. How much does it mean to you and to the team to be playing at home and to be playing in front of fans in Toyota Arena for the first time in over a year? It means a lot. It actually means the world to us, to be honest, especially what we went through, not just us, but everybody in the world with this pandemic. It's been hard on everybody. And for us, it's, it's no different. I think we we feed off the fans and everything is possible that we do because of the fans you know um if it wasn't for them we probably wouldn't be here so it would be good to show what we've been working on how hard we've been working to show them that you know we're ready to play and we're ready to play for them and that we miss them we miss seeing them we miss cheer them cheering on us so we want to show them that we worked so hard for this and now that finally we get able the chance to play in front of them we want to make them happy and you know hopefully like i said win the championship and put a big smile on their faces. I know they want it as bad as we do. 
You're going to see that seventh man out in full force. I know for a fact because a lot of them communicate with me on social media. They've been even trying to hit me up for tickets. They've probably been trying to reach out to Stryker for tickets. This is going to be a big game. So, you know, it's going to be exciting. You're, you boys are motivated. You know, I've been to practice. I've seen. I know what's up. How much extra motivation, though, does it give you to be playing the finals against our friends from down the I-15? I mean, it's a rival game. Um, and it's San Diego. I mean, they're one of the biggest franchises in this league. They've been around for years. I mean, they have 14 championships to their name, so it's a big motivation. Uh, as far as for me goes, you know, I have a lot of ex-teammates on that on that team. So when you play against teammates, it's always a battle, and it's always you're trying to get the best of each other. So it's more motivation because, like you said, they're down the street from us. They're our biggest rival for us to make it to the final. I think it's a huge achievement and shows that the South Cap teams are, are, are they're not no one to mess with. So it's extra motivation. I mean, you know, it's always a bone to pick with San Diego. You know, it's just a rivalry. And that's the way soccer is. You have so many derbies around the world that when you play against them, it's it's a, it's a free for us. It's like a, it's a flip of a coin, you know. It's going to be a great game. I, we're going to come out and give it all we have. And obviously we want to win, especially against them. I think that's even more motivation for us. That's who, they, who we're playing. SoCal Derby, SoCal Battle Royale, I-15 Collision. We could call this a bunch of things. You said it, this is your first final. I mean, something that not a lot of players get to achieve. What are you looking forward to the most about playing in the finals? To be honest, just to say I play in the final. I mean, a professional indoor league, that's my biggest achievement. That's my biggest thing is that to say that I played and contributed and gave my best in that in those games. Um, I'm a loss of words, to be honest. I mean, it's like, like I said, the, the top of my career. You know, it's probably the biggest game of my life. Um, I've, I've made it to the national semifinals for college, made it semifinals here. I mean, this is just like, you know, it's like, I guess I could say like my World Cup, you know, uh, if I want to compare it to something of, of, of my life and my career. So it's, it's the biggest stage on the, on the earth for me. And to play in it, you know, it's, it's an achievement, you know, not just for myself, but to show the fans what, what I've done, how I've come back from injuries to get where I'm at. And the biggest thing is for my family. Sure. Done. You- I want to show them that I have, I've done something and, you know, like I said, soccer has given me everything and without it, I wouldn't be here. So, and I think it's a big, it's a big part of me. And, and it's, it, every time I think about it, it reminds me of family because my parents, they push soccer on me. And like I said, it's, it's everything for me. So to play in the biggest stage of my career, it's more than exciting. I'm ecstatic and I just can't wait to go out there and just give it my all. And I hope that'll be enough to help win the championship. You're, you're inching closer. You got close at Lewis University. You got close in Las Vegas. You are that much closer right now. I mean, my fingers are crossed for you because I know how much this means to you. Now, you have a lot of fans here in Ontario. You have a lot of fans in Dallas. Heck, you've had a lot of fans everywhere you've played. What would you like to say to all those fans that are going to come and watch you play and to all those fans that are going to be tuning in on Facebook Live? I just want to say thank you uh, for the continued support. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be here. Coming back from three knee surgeries, it's hard. A lot of people throw in the towel, but strong mentally. The continued support I get Philly throughout the years, doesn't matter where I am. I'm here, I get support from Chicago, from my hometown, Dallas, you know, people from Vegas, from here, you know, it's just, their support fuels me. It motivates me. It gives me energy. It's like like, a, like my power. You know, they feel me. It just makes me get up in the morning. It's like, you know what? I, I want to keep playing. I, I need to do this to get better. Um, it's just the support. I just want to thank them. I can't thank them enough. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. And just their continuous support it just keeps pushing me day in, day out. Um, I'm so grateful. And, you know, if I can thank every single one of them, I would in person. Um, you know, it's just... It's hard to be everywhere I want. So I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate the support, the continuous support. And I'm almost there. I'm almost there. And I'm hopefully I can get, like I said, that that championship. And that's going to be not just for me, but for, for all of them. That's going to be their part of me when I play. 
You're a loved man, Nestor Hernandez. I want you to know that. Your episode on Striking Fury usually flip-flops between the first or the second most viewed. And if you look all at the geographic area, I mean, it comes from everywhere. Even Europe, uh, even <laughs> Europe and Asia. So just know that. People have their eyes on you. Dude, I am so proud of you and, and so happy for what you boys have accomplished. I can't wait to see you next week. Good luck. And let's have some more Superman sightings. I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure talking to you, Philly. I appreciate everything you told me. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see you next weekend. Uh, one more week of working hard, and hopefully, like I said, we'll put a good show on, and that'll be enough to bring that that trophy back, not just for us, but also for Tyrell, his family, yeah. um, and like I said, all you guys. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Let's take care of Biz. First round will be on me. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> all right, Nestor. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. All right, take care, Philly. Everybody said, everybody.